How's it going everybody? This is the Master Rays. I just wanted to go over my trample slide build that got me into 12th place in the world's first to uh, the race to first 100 for hardcore. So I'm going to go over the skill tree first because that's going to make the most sense once we go into the uh, uh, we start going into the equipment, the aspects, things like that. So first off we're going to go we have one point in storm strike Enhanced Storm Strike, Fear Storm Strike. This gives us the immobilization chance, and Storm Strike uh, gives us also vulnerable chance. Even though we already have it in our exploit, um, we definitely still want that. This overall gives us a 15% damage reduction. Very good to have. Instead of having Storm Strike on the bar, though, because we're going to be using Crone Staff, we're going to have the Claw, just one point in it. The reason why we use Claw is that it does more damage than Storm Strike, first off. Second, uh, it has increased attack speed and has a chance to hit twice. So you have more chances to actually activate your Storm Skill and Nature Magic um, to reset your Earth abilities. And we'll go over why that's important later. So we got Heart of the Wild, one point here, three points here, plus um, some points from wild impulses in the necklace slot so it's a total of six increases the core damage here we have predatory in uh, instincts because we're going to be close to enemies all the time so six percent uh, crit strike chance and landslide most important ability we want to max this out because it's going to be casted not only by right click if you end up need to needing to cast it generally we will not be right clicking at all we but trample will be casting landslide for us and Poison Creeper will be casting a landslide for us. And that's coming off the aspect, so we will be going over later. Enhanced landslide. Uh, damage four enemies, four, or damage enemies four times. Immobilization. Great for CC. And then this is the big one we hear, Primal Landslide. Because Trample and Poison Creeper, when we cast it, and it has the uh, landslide aspect with it, it'll do the Terra Mote, which is uh, causing guaranteed critical strikes with 40% critical uh, strike damage and 10% chance to tear them out when we hit bosses. So pretty important we have that. We got Earthen Bulwark. We need our barrier. We need our defenses. Get our unstoppable as well. And this is generally always going to be up, so we're always going to be unstoppable. We're only going to need one point in that because it's not a primary damage source. Um, Generally, people go for preserving Earth and Bulwark to get us some uh, fortification. However, we have enough fortification in this build. We want more chances to proc crits uh, to reset Poison Creeper because uh, of the uh, secondary passive we have with it. Uh, uh, critical Strike Chance has 20% increased uh, chance against enemy strangled by Poison Creeper. And then you also have Pack Leader when uh, enemies are critically striked. Uh, you have a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of Poison Creeper. So that's why we want to have as ma many damaging abilities as we can going off at once. So Shrapnel, we do a little bit of damage. Uh, going here, we got Ancestral Fortitude. Doesn't really matter because uh, non-physical resistances are kind of bugged right now. But we want the Vigilance. We want max that out for 15% damage reduction for 6 seconds after we use that. And that's generally always going to be up. So we're going to get down to our Poison Creeper. Uh, strangles everybody. Increase the immobilization by one second. So we've got a total of four seconds going. And then 20% uh, critical strike chance to, like I said, reset the... Uh, um, get more chances to uh, pop Pack Leader, which resets Poison Creeper, which in turn makes more landslides. Then we have another relatively defensive ability. we got Hurricane, even though it's a Wrath ability. The reason why we say it's a, uh, a defensive ability is because we're slowing enemies around us and we have um, enemies affected by Hurricane deal 20% less damage. Okay, So that's generally a defensive ability here. We have Crushing Earth, 15% increased damage to things that are immobilized, slowed, stun, which we are already doing the Poison Creeper. Critical Strikes with Earth gives a Fortify. Like I said, we got plenty of Fortify in this build. Uh, while we have over 50% fortify, uh, 50 fortify, we get 12% increased damage. Great for the build. Neurotoxin. Enemies are slow. Don't really care about this too much. However, this is Venom. 30% uh, bonus critical strike damage to you and your companions. That means your landslide abilities will be uh, getting that 30% damage bonus. 
Then we have Trample, probably one of the most important abilities of this build besides Poison Creeper. Uh, gets us out of uh, any CC, grants us a short burst of Unstoppable while we're moving. Uh, does a little bit of damage, but the, uh, and also gives us some Fortify. So generally whenever we start a fight, we go Trample right away. If we get our 20% base Fortify, and then all the landslides behind us that hit anything will automatically be at 100% fortify. So we don't need any more fortification coming out besides just casting this ability once and we'll be at 100% fortify. Defiance, nature magic skills, 12% uh, increased damage to elites. Trample is now an earth skill with uh, one of our aspects. Not only that, we'll be casting landslide, which is an earth skill. And the poison creeper uses landslide as an earth skill as well, even though poison creeper will never be an earth skill the earth skill coming out of it uh landslide will proc this okay uh nature magic says consumed spirit will heal you for one percent of your maximum life we generally don't need this we can uh, put it into something else however uh whenever we right click we will heal off of this okay so we got one point here this will generally be procced off of this however we can put um three points into this Shapeshifting into a werewolf or werewolf where I gain 12% damage reduction uh, against elites. Okay, so we get, we're always going to have damage reduction against elites because we're always going to be either in werewolf or in werebear form or uh, bouncing back and forth. So we'll always have this up. And the most important part of the build right here, Nature's Fury. Casting an Earth skill has a 30% chance to trigger a free storm skill, and vice versa, storm skill has a 30% trigger uh, chance to trigger an Earth skill. So. This is a storm skill, this is a storm skill, this is earth, this is earth, this is earth, and this counts as earth when you're um, doing the landslide. So it has a 30% uh, chance to trigger a, um, an ability of the opposite type, or of the opposite type in the same tree. So if we cast hurricane, we have a chance to trigger boulder. When we cast trample with landslide, landslides have a chance to trigger the uh, lightning storm and tornadoes, okay? And then same thing with Poison Creeper. When we do Poison Creeper and Landslides comes out, we have a chance to spawn Lightning Storm and Tornadoes. Okay, and then whenever we use Trample, we also have a chance to use uh, Proc Hurricane. So all these abilities bounce off of each other. Now, how do we make that work? The most important part of making that work uh, and uh, not only spawning everything, but is resetting our cooldowns. So the way we make that work is whenever the Nature's Fury key passive for the aspect for our boots is that uh, whenever that pops, we reset the cooldown of five seconds for our uh, non-ultimate abilities for the opposite type. So if we're using a lightning strike with our claw, it'll reset Earth and Bulwark and it'll reset Trample. Whenever uh, things are hit by Earth and Bulwark, and trample it'll reset our hurricane so we'll always have our defensive 20 percent damage reduction off and this will also prox uh resetting these so we'll go back and forth resetting all these abilities and just kind of face rolling the keyboard right so we'll move on um since we're already at the boots i'll kind of go over you want the damage reduction while injured dodge chance moon speed and movement speed we don't need any spirit cost reduction because we're generally never going to be right clicking we're always going to be resetting However, if you just happen to be standing around waiting for a second, uh, it's better to just left click, right click, left click, and just focus on left click, but you can sometimes tie in a right click if you want to. Uh, obviously, the most one of the biggest uh, weapons, or the biggest pieces of the build, is the crone staff, of the, or the great staff of the crone. Um, you can't roll any of the abilities off of that. However, you do, um, we all know what it looks like, damage close. Damage to CC, non-physical damage, and ranks of claw. And since uh, we are doing non-physical damage, we are doing all of uh, earth damage, that makes that damage increase even more, okay? And we have, uh, for the jewels, we'll do the vulnerable uh, critical strike uh, increase to vulnerable enemies. So we'll move up to the pants. So the pants, we got damage reduction from close, damage reduction, damage reduction while fortified, max life. Always important to have max life, especially with any fortify builds. Uh, the more max life you have, the more fortification and barriers can uh, scale. And since we have a little bit, a little bit of barriers here, it'll be great. Okay. Appreciate the uh, follow, Kuyuki. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Didn't pop up because I got this overlaying everything. 
uh, keep on going. Uh, we have uh, gloves, um, increase ranks of landslide, uh, attack speed, critical strike chance, critical strike damage with their skills, and uh, I figured out to go over the aspect. The, the aspect for the pants is going to be uh, disobedience. You get the armor, that's going to stack up really fast. We're always going to have that in max stacks. The gloves. Trample now seven six landslides probably one of the mo uh, more important aspects. Uh, you got like three important aspects you got to have: the nature's fury, and then this one, uh, and then there's one more. Trample now seven six landslides pillars of uh, earth during its uh, duration that deal 80% normal damage. Trample is now also a nature magic and earth skill. Okay. Uh, critical strike chance, critical strike with the earth skills, attack speed, you know, landslide. All that is important with the gloves. We go to the chest, damage reduction from close enemies, damage reduction, damage reduction while fortified, and max life. And obviously the jewels and all our armor pieces, we want the uh, the blue damage reduction while fortified. Uh, with the chest piece, I put in fortify. When you have fortify, your earth skills uh, gain plus two ranks, so that's going to increase how much damage your land side is doing. Then for our helmet, max life, total armor, cooldown reduction, basic, atta uh, basic skill attack speed. The faster we can uh, get our attack speed off with uh, resetting, the faster we can cast all our abilities. Okay, and then the, uh, since we're going to be basic attacking a lot, basic skills grant 20% damage reduction for 6 seconds. Great things to have. Move over to our necklace. So we're going to have cooldown reduction, damage reduction while fortified, uh, ranks of wild impulses to get our damage up, and the wild impulses is the core damage ability right here. The reason why we go core is because we're going to be using all of these abilities right here. And there's going to be so much on our screen, it's better to have increased damage with core so that we will keep going. So, uh, damage reduction from close. And score uh, core skills deal up to 60% increased damage based on the amount of fortify. We're always going to be max fortify, so we're always going to have that 60% damage increase. And the reason why we put this here is because it gets a 1.5 bonus to its uh, to any stat that goes into it for aspects. Okay, so that's why it's up to 60% and not 40. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go to our ring. Critical strike chance, critical strike damage, critical strike damage with earth skills, and max life. Again, always important to max life. The aspect, landslides earth pillars each strike a second time and deal an additional 12% dam bonus damage per hit. So... Not only does the landslides come out once, it comes out twice. So then we'll move on to um, our second ring. So we got um, this ring right here. Same, same uh, sets all down. The aspect is called Poison Creepers Active. Also cast landslide in the circle around you. Earth skills deal 20% increased uh, damage to poison enemies. So generally, we're going to have everything always poisoned, so we're always going to have that 20% damage increase. And now we're going to have landslide casting, and it's also going to uh, get the bonuses from here where it does it a second time. So trample and poison creeper all get bonuses from this that uh, they cast it a second, uh, cast a second time, and get the um, uh, bonus to poison damage. Okay. So the hearts that I chose where uh, critical, uh, critical strikes and all subsequent damage within, I kept it at two seconds. Um, you generally want to keep it at the lower mark so that it pops faster. If you have it hold longer, it's going to take longer for enemies to die because you're not going to be killing them. They're going to be soaking up all the damage. So you want it to be at the highest, uh, um, the lowest number here, so 2.0. And then you want the highest number down here, which I have it up to currently 14% um, per second. But I can't change the number down here for some reason right now. So, anyway, so moving on. So we're going to go to the second one. So 20% income, the next heart is 20% of incoming damage is instead suppressed. When you use a defensive skill, subterfuge, or macabre skill, all suppressed damage is amplified by 250% and explodes, dealing up to uh, 20 thousand nine hundred fire damage to nearby enemies again some possible way for us to reset our crits amazing right so it's very good and then finally our last heart is you gain 60 um a specific amount of critical strike damage but your non-critical strike uh deal 25 percent less damage or whatever that those two numbers are obviously you gotta um find hearts that are going to be good for you but i have this currently at 80 percent um 
Maybe if I change this number, that's fine. Anyway, so you get a uh, massive increased uh, strike to your critical strike damage. And since we're generally going to be uh, critical striking all the time, that's where we're going to be going off of. And then for our boons, we have wariness for uh, the deer. We have two on the eagle, which is increased critical strike uh, chance. And avian wrath, 30% critical strike damage. Then for the wolf, we have our pack leader. And for the snake, we have masochistic. Critical strikes with shape shifting skills. Boom, boom. Have a uh, chance to heal us for 30% of our max life. And since we have a lot of max life, it's always great to heal. So now we're going to go into the paragon board. So, the way I started off the paragon board. Since we're playing in hardcore, we generally want more defenses, right? So max life and armor. I rushed for that to try and stay alive. Then went right into the damage side, okay? And then we went up. I happen to get exploit really early, so if you can get exploit really early, put that here. If not, replace it with any of these other ones. Well, we're going to be using exploit, we're going to be using territorial, we're going to be using undaunted, we're going to be using guzzler, spirits, and earth and sky. So if you can get uh, territorials, I think we already said that. Yeah, ter ter territorial. So you, if you can get territorial into the first uh, tree, undaunted into the first tree, uh, spirit or guzzler, you'll you'll be doing pretty well because that'll help you out. But exploit, you want to try and get as early as possible and put it in the first tree. So we're gonna go get our glyph socket, put our points in, kind of match it up, get some dexterity, pop it up, so that way we can get some increased damage for. Uh, vulnerable you don't want to focus all your points here you don't want to go higher than 25 because they reduce the damage that you, you do to vulnerable so it's only going to give you uh plus uh four percent per however if you go into something like territorial you get plus 9.9 percent increased damage so that way you can get uh bonus damage to close targets so you would want to invest more of your points into something where you get increased uh close target damage because you're going to get more percentage per point uh, per five points. So you don't want to focus too much on uh, increasing your vulnerable damage. However, vulnerable damage is still very good, but we don't want to focus too hard, hard on it because of the uh, the changes to the game. So we're going to follow this up, get our 20% damage. We don't really need the resistances. Again, resistances aren't that good. We're going to move up, have our increased uh, damage to um, when there are three or more enemies that are poisoned. You have 45% damage increase. Generally, everything's always going to be poisoned. There's another uh, legendary node that's going to be later on that I'll kind of go over right here, constricting tendrils, that nature magic, uh, we have a chance to strangle them and poison them. So we are always going to have this up generally, uh, the heightened malice. So continuing on, we're going to keep going up. Uh, damage to poison enemies, 20%, 10% uh, poison damage. Generally don't need the poison damage, but um, another 10% damage to poison enemies if the requirements are met and we made sure to we hit those requirements pretty heavily. So we got the overturn, damage to poison enemies, damage to elites. Again, increase the damage to poison enemies. Whenever we have a poison enemy, we're going to be doing some massive damage. And that's going to be the focus around this build. So damage reduction from enemies that are poisoned right here. We got the territorial, increasing uh, damage to close targets and taking some uh, damage reduction from close targets. We got the damage to poison enemies here. Got some more dexterity to increase uh, the territorial damage and some uh, more increased damage to poison enemies. Okay, I'll go down. I went down here to get damage to healthy so we can try and one shot. Okay, and get a little bit of health and armor here. I think it's just armor. Yeah, just get a little bit of armor here. I'm gonna go back up. Damage reduction while fortified. We're gonna go back down to get our survival instincts. While in wearbear form, you deal increased damage up to 50% for every 1% dif uh, difference in uh, current life between you and the enemy. Since you're going to be in wearbear for doing parts of your build uh, for trample, that's going to increase your damage. Okay, and we're not going to be focusing on the wearbear side, but that is going to help. Okay, and we'll go down here, get the grizzly damage while in wearbear form. Again, this will increase the, uh, the damage for landslide. Again, we don't want to focus on staying in werebear form too much, so we don't want to focus too heavily on getting the uh, Battleborn in werebear form, but we wanted to uh, definitely get that to get a little spike of damage in the willpower. So, 
uh, get some intelligence so we can get some uh, increased damage while fortified. Don't want to focus too heavily on this though because we want to keep going. You get the damage reduction from uh, being fortified as well. Before going to the left, you'll want to go up first. So you go up here. We're going to grab our spirit. Get it some increased damage with critical strikes. Go down here. We're going to have nature magic damage since our entire build is based off of nature magic. You're going to want the points here. We're going to go up and around. We'll uh, get the dexterity here. Bounce it around. We're going to want to go over here first. We're going to get our earth and sky, which is going to uh, nature magic skills deal 10% increased damage to crowd control or vulnerable to enemies. And everything's either going to be uh, CC'd or vulnerable, so this is always going to be up. And it's going to give us bonuses to every magic, which is the blue nodes, around us. So we're going to have core skill damage increase, core skill damage increase, core skill damage increase, and even more core skill damage increase. So we're going to have a lot of core skill damage increase. And that is the core part of our build, right? We're going to go down. We're going to get some small resistances. But the whole point of why we came down here is so we can make the willpower pop. We generally don't care about the resist all, but we had to get down here. So anyway, so then after you get that, you're going to come back up here. We're going to get the nature magic and the damage to elites right here. And we're going to come down and get our constricting tendrils so that we can try and get poison off uh, more often. Then finally, to f finish up the uh, Paragon tree, we're going to go over here, get our Guzzler, which is increase our damage while healthy. And we're always going to be healthy, so we are always going to have that plus 9.9 .9 increased damage. Uh, the increased bon uh, potion healing isn't too big, but you know it still helps us out a little bit. We'll get our increased uh, critical strike damage with Earth skills. So that way, since that is our primary source of damage, is where we're going to have our big money, right? So that's going over the Paragon tree, and then now we're going to take a look at the build. So we're going to have, you're going to walk through, you're going to always start um, going into enemies by trying to pop off uh, your, your trample, right? So let's rewind it a little bit more. So the first thing I do when we're here Right away, trample. Look at that. 20% fortify, and I'm already max fortify, right? Now take a uh, look at the poison creeper and see how many times that resets. Reset right there. Reset again. Reset again. Reset again. Reset again. And reset even more. So the poison creeper is resetting even more than your trample. And you could try and attack, auto attack as many times as you want. You could try and poison creeper or do whatever kind of build you want. But poison creeper is definitely going to be one of the key damages here. Solely on the fact that you're going to be casting poison creeper more than trample no matter what. This is just always going to be up. And that's also going to poison enemies. Trample is going to be your big damage dealer for nukes. But the Poison Creeper is just your overall increased sustained damage because of how many times that is going to reset and spawn your landslides. So this is, uh, you pretty much melt everything as you're just walking through the entire dungeon. Okay, so I hope this uh, helps out with uh, anybody who had questions on the build. And if you have any more questions, just leave it in the YouTube comments below. Uh, if you ever want to see me play, come tr uh, check out twitch.tv uh, slash TheMasterRays. Thank you so much.